switch to min-min or vice versa. Just keep your opponents on their toes, constantly guessing. I don't know if that's really going to be a, a factor here. I think Onan's a little bit too dangerous to take on with your secondaries, but both of these players, man, front runners for number one in the world for a time until MK Leo came back last weekend and reminded you guys what he was made of. A hundred percent. You know, the fun thing about that is it, it kind of leaves the door wide open, a lot of speculation. Like, even with that big win, I don't know if, like, statistically, Leo would still be, like, ranked first considering, like, everything, especially if Onan wins this yep. one as well. Like, yep. and, you know, or a cola. Like, there's still so many variables as far as, like, how that's going to shape up and, this is just like kind of another chapter in that book, so we're going to enjoy it for sure. The Steve Ditto is here. This is what you all deserve, and I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, yeah respect for just letting them mine at the beginning, right? That's it facts. should be mine till diamond. That's the gentleman clause. Respectful, like that. yeah, respect will start right here from both sides, but again, you know, Onan's going to have to think about all the things that happened in that time they played before and hopefully uh, you know, turn this thing around. Otherwise, Cola you know, could be running, running this thing with a quick 6-0. Onan, of course, with the symbols as his tag. Akalo with the ellipsis. So that's a pretty good start for Onan. USA turning up at the beginning, but oh, okay. Akalo gets a few hits of his own in there. We have the diamond in hand already for Onan. That's going to be so huge. I'm telling you, that is a tremendous start right now for Onan. Obviously, kind of hears all the chatter. Everybody maybe just kind of expecting him to just lose this outright, just given what took place last weekend. But this kid is a warrior. He adapts. He thrives. And right now, finding some success. But immediately, Akola starting to strike back. He's going to oh, take oh. that first stock instantly. Not even bothering to craft the diamond he had either. Yeah, man, so I don't need it. You know, as long as I got the powered up card, I'm good. So, was able to do that. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, big damage. Yep. I right, just going to get away from that, though. But, yeah, this is, I mean, Onan with a great start, just has not been able to find that stock yet, though, and he does. Uh, doesn't really have the tools uh, or a good tool for it just yet. I mean, he should still be able to just get it just because of the amount of damage, but no, you know, he's not sitting on a uh, diamond or stone or anything like that. Okay, gonna hit with both hits of the down smash right there. And an anvil to boot, but Onan wow. can't take this stock, and it's really hurting him yeah. at this point. Yeah, 100%. You can see, like, Cole is really just settled in. He's got the lead and just continuing to extend it. The way he just kind of plays around. Finally getting clipped right there with an aerial, but 79% and already back in control of this one. Ooh, literally right in the spot that he needed to be almost. Okay, can't get too much. I think maybe the rage is too much. Oh, oh that, how are you getting around it? this? You're not. Wow. wow, what a gimp. 18% only on Akala. And we have Onan maintaining this lead here for just a second until it's all taken away with the down air. I was like, he's him, but then I realized he's him too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve, Steve's greatest, greatest worst matchup is himself. Absolutely. Build up on me. It's like, wait, I, I don't have a way to break this. So, yeah, no, wasn't able to get around. Couldn't go high up enough. Oh, wait. Oh, is he going to do the same thing? Oh, oh, my God, he is. Crash test dummy right there off the stage and into the blast zone. Akola takes the first game in comedic fashion. I want to say Yeah, that, that, that was super goofy, bro. That was a goofy movie. Yeah, what the? And this? I'm Max. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this, is, this is Let's Make Moves Minecraft now, bro. <laughs> Miami <might even> gone. <laughs> Let's make Minecraft moves, bro. I don't know what's going on here, bro. That's what it is. Game Jeez. one going to Akola. All right, well, that was pretty quick, all things considered. I think a lot of people would probably expect this matchup to be a slow burn, but you just see how much reward they get on hit, how many dirty setups they have once you get off stage or once you're above them. Infinite possibilities. Just what a, what an instrument. He's like, oh, wait, that, is, that does work. Let me, do, let me do it now. <laughs> yeah, good idea, Onan. I'm going to steal that immediately. He's like Taskmaster. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Akola, this time around, we, uh, Kind of trying to run away with this one right at the very beginning. I think, yeah, that's probably the scariest part about this matchup. It's probably just recovering if you have to recover low. Or yeah. It's gonna be, uh, and you don't have to, and you don't start building blocks. I mean, if you're close enough to the stage, you can just build some blocks, but if you're not, it could be an issue. Oh, missing the no impact land oh. on that ladder attempt right there. Okay, it's gonna get Owen into safety and a huge lead, actually half the percent of Akala right now. Yeah, tax it, and then mashing on that minecart, making you think twice about the chase every time. 100%, man, using those blocks to the advantage. That's what they are crafted and put there for, no doubt about that. 138 there on Akola. Oh, look at that, just, oh, no wow. shot. Wow, that bro, early? I was gonna say, he's getting back into it, but actually taking the lead with authority. Jeez, this kid is just, oh, both of these guys, just a wonder sometimes. All right, backing it up at the forward smash, though. Maintaining the even game here. Let's see, Onan, can you open this man up? Can you make that claim to be the number one Steve by winning this tournament over him? Oh, 
Swinging the wrong way on the way down. Oh, good catch from Akola. Nice and turning it around, actually using that block to the advantage. Look at that. Such a good string developing. My wow. card's clashing right now. Akola, though, getting the better of him. And I like what he did there, too. Kind of took a couple steps towards the right, then turned around, just threw that up smash out there. Maybe catch thinking Odin had a chance to descend safely, but not being the case. Oh, the loops, man. This oh. is some matchup knowledge right here. Oh, and the Borier almost killing, actually. Jesus. Okay, like the idea there. On the, wow, actually, the dash tag going to go through both. The, the cart and uh, actually still hit Steve, so. Oh, and anticipating that jump as well. Akala just all over this man. Is it done? Wow, oh the double bounce. Wink. <laughs> I don't know. What, are we looking at a 6-0? What, what did I tell gonna... you, bro? Right, come on now. I don't want to say all that. I ain't going to say all that. Now. I didn't want to say it. But listen, still hold it. I could look. I, I'm not even. The guy had the mask, but I can still tell he's smiling. I can see it in his eyes. Yeah, yeah I, I can, can see it in his it. eyes, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, this is this is the best case scenario for me to win this tournament. Honestly, it's. Oh, wow. So oh. going back to Old Faithful, I think this is Odin's original main, if I'm not mistaken. It was right before there was Steve. There was Robin, and he was putting up some numbers with this character. Obviously, not to the extent at which he was finding the result with Steve, but still. All right, whipping out the Bible, charging up, saying God created Adam and Eve, not Alex and Steve. What? Huh? I Moving mean, on, bro. You're not about to get me canceled I'm on this back. Like, what the heck? heck? It's a <laughs> Minecraft joke. <laughs> I am NRG, not EMG. <laughs> We're going to continue this match. Game number three. Here at Panda, we are we, we, we are inclusive <laughs> oh to everyone here. No, no. <laughs> No, All right, I'm man. <laughs> I'm messing. Oh, man. Anyway, moving forward. I mean, he, we, we said he's him, man. It can be they, them. As well, it can be whatever he chooses to be because we are very accepting here. <laughs> and it is a great. And I'm accepting the fact that Robin has come out to play right now, and it's looking pretty damn good. <laughs> Give me a break, man. Look, it's my <laughs> tournament. <laughs> the, uh, the Just Robin, laugh and keep it moving. Robin. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the Robin's still having. Oh, wow. What a snipe. Okay. Bro, deep as well. Come on now. Wait a minute. Your sole character all along? No. Well, we'll see. All right, first stock, even, just going back and forth here. Okay, Onan tacking on some good damage here. Yeah. It could all go out the window after one up tilt, especially with Robin being kind of a bigger body character. These combos might be a little easy. Definitely. I was gonna say, who even has Robin practice right now, bro? I was gonna say, this is such a curveball, and, and one of the things uh, me and Rod were alluding to earlier on in Winners, you know, that set against um, Akola and Mudez was like kind of like a knowledge thing, like for matchups. You know, talk about maybe a limited number of, you know, resources for Peach. For Akola, how about Robin, bro? How many Robins do you get to practice against? Probably zero. Yeah, yeah you know I mean, what I mean? There's like four Robins in the world. Like this, <laughs> yeah, this, this could be huge. Akola learning the matchup oh. in all of one stock, though. Man, that was brutal. The matchup is I have better frame data. I think right now, you know, if, if uh, Akola really wants to send a message, he has to pull out the Luigi. We're back right. to base roster right now. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. Down smash to send him off. A forward air keeps it going. Oh, wow. Narrowly doesn't misses, matter. but it doesn't matter. Yeah, the coverage. That angle was crazy, by the way. False where it once, go? but not twice. That is going to be a 3-0 for Akola to open up grand finals. Onan put on notice that this tournament is now officially in jeopardy. 3-0 yeah. in the first set. What do you even do to bounce back from that? And Onan, we were talking about how he's typically unshakable, just burying his head in his hands a little bit. But I feel like he's thinking as hard as he can right now. He's figuring out a way to rally back. He's not going to give up that easily. Yeah, I mean, but I don't I don't think the character swap is going to really be the one. You're like, you have to beat him with Steve. It's Steve on Steve right now. I so. think so, too. Woo! All right. What is the play going to be from Onan, though? I feel like if he gets a little bit of momentum, he could get right back in this. Sure. I mean, the problem is, too, like, the problem I'm seeing right now, and I don't like this at all, Onan looks defeated already. He's still got another set to play. Looking a little dejected. I need to sit up. Gamer pose, focus, and get a damn game. Yeah, well, it starts with a game. But, you know, unfortunately, wasn't able to get in that first stock or in that first uh, set. So let's see what he can do here in the second set. Tough, tough love, man. My coach used to tell me, oh, you got hurt, rub some dirt in it. He didn't keep his job very long, but damn it, he said it. Yeah, but did it work? I'm Absolutely going, not. not. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm here, not in the NFL. Anyway, Terrence, it's a good game to <laughs> not my government. <laughs> now, anyway, not the government. <laughs> not the government. <laughs> All right, this is, I mean, geez, I mean, my man might need the CIA to help him right now. He needs the answers. Cause, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, dude, he was trying to set up the ceiling once again. Okay, Onan getting in there, getting a little damage mm -hmm. built up on this Enderman. 
But I don't know, man. Is it too little, too oh, late? Man. That first stock in some serious danger here. I was, ah. was going to say, man, you mentioned CIA. It might be more like witness protection because I can't see this man at all. I, I don't know. <laughs> what I'm, I'm just listening. It's looking rough right now. Yeah, man, what state is he in? What country is he in at this point in time? So this is just a, a cola. I mean, like, really, I, I genuinely think that, like, when he saw that he was getting this grand finals, he was like, yeah, man, go ahead and just give me the tournament right now. Feeling like it, man. Definitely playing out of his mind right now. He's really just inserted himself. Man, only one of these two can walk away with this trophy and this custom controller. Oculus saying, give me that, man. Mm -hmm. My sticks were uh, – actually, they're in pretty good shape given the way he's wow. playing. But, oh, my God, two-stock lead here. Oh, Onan trying to figure something out. Dude, it's just so crazy, like, how efficient Akola is it right is. now. In the okay. ditto. I mean, it's it's just insane. Like, And, and both of these guys, again. Yeah. Wow. Like, what do you – like, you actually have no answer to that yeah. because it, you got spiked. You're under the stage. He's going to start building. There's no answer. Wow. I don't know, man. That is not a good sign to him give up like that. But, of course, he's still got two games to potentially rally back. Sometimes I do like seeing the players take an early exit because you just don't have to lose those last few interactions. <laughs> man, I feel the steam leaving Onan's body right now. But he I know he's got it in him somewhere to pull this one back. It, it really just – like, you just got to see what that the? first game. We're trying everything. The kitchen sink. How about we try a high tier, man? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Shulk is busted, hey, listen, brother. Hey, what Ram, are we listen, on? Ram, Ram's shooting at you listen, right now. No, it's not, <laughs> about, it's not about if Shulk is good or not. It's about the results, baby. True. Shulk don't, Shulk don't be putting them up like that. I'm just going to keep it real. Yeah. But I Shulk is still a great character, but I don't know. Maybe this could be the start of something great right now for Onan. I mean, again, you said, you know, just kind of looking for any kind of answers and maybe going into that character uh, repertoire for sure. Let's find out if the Shulk could be the answer. All right, man. He truly see, can't see the future. I literally I don't know what's in store. I thought he was a Mario man before this. Mario? Mario? Am I tripping? Owning? Nah. No, I think it was Robin. I think Jake was the Mario. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, man. I yeah, gotta keep up with all these people. Who did Yanni right. play? <laughs> so Luigi. many questions. I need these origin Luigi. stories. <laughs> all these origin stories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got the lore on deck, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is. All right, so. Listen, man, I, I like uh, Shulk as much as the next guy because yeah. we don't get to see this character too often, but I'm not really sure how he's going to play this match. I, I do think that Shulk at least can probably deal with some uh, blocks very uh, easily because you have such range, mm -hmm. you know. But, okay, oh, smash. See if he can do something with that. No, going to swap straight out of that right to jump. Ooh, oh, wow. Good trade to take there. But, I mean, all things considered, though, 93% not too bad. Onan looking like he's able to get one over on Akala for the first stock with all these new characters, but the adaptation is just so fast on his opponent's part. I don't know. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, that's no. Yeah, no. I feel like Steve is, Steve is the guy to go ahead and combo you and shield. Yeah. Like, I don't care. I'm just going to hit like 19 more up tilts. What an answer for that. Landing. Oh, the oh. coverage with the anvil. This, guys, is getting out, has gotten out of hand. In a major way. I just don't think that, that you can't really like hit him, hit Akola with the wow factor right now because his, his gameplay is just too solid. Yeah. Yeah, his game plan hasn't even needed to change all that much. Just wait for the one mistake, open it up big, and keep that combo going. Look at these double jumps back to center. Akola all over that. Good lord, man. From grand finals to round one pools, that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> man, it was boy almost, them hands. almost 2 0 to deaths in a row. By the way, okay, there we go. Owen with some signs of life. Oh, and he just runs off. Yet again, conceding the game. I don't know if he's going to switch characters. I would love to see him go back to Steve and just try as hard as he possibly can. I would too. I would too. Because I, I do think he's, he's talented enough and gifted enough to get the job done. It just doesn't seem like he's got the, the confidence right now. That's exactly. And that's one of the, the things we've seen with some of the younger players at times. That mentality can be a little shaky. You know what I'm saying? The talent's all there, but you've got to put everything together. Look, at this point in time, I, I would never. I'd I would, like to see the Steve come back I, for sure. Man. I would never, ever say this at any point, other point in time, but if he decided to concede the whole grand finals, I'd be like, I understand, bro, because it's just not looking good for you. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. You got to try You got to try. Gotta hey! hey! That, there we go. go. That's a top tier character okay. right there. All right, let's see what Onan's got on the Joker. Of course, Oculus thanks Steve the whole way through. No Kazuya appearances this weekend, by the way, from him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, from everything I've seen, and I've seen a lot of uh, Akula's matches throughout the weekend, yeah, I think it's just been primarily Steve, 100%. Um, and obviously you can see why it served him well so far, but, you know, the character that plagued the first DLC pack right here, Joker taking on the menace of the new one, who is going to be victorious right now. Steve imposing his will. Arsene coming out to play. Will it be the difference maker, though, we've seen so many times in the past for this character? 
Okay. Oh. Not, a, not a terrible start here for not the uh, for the Joker. Yeah, and even though he took a lot of damage, that just means he gets Arsene. Tactical ass beating. <laughs> Back <Facts>, though. <laughs> At the shades of Smash for a cloud, like I got a limit now. I'm good. Yeah, going like six spots up the tier list at minimum. Okay. All right, there goes Ooh, Arsene that, though, and it's gonna like be a real struggle there too. Yeah, no Arsene, he's gonna have to find like just a, kind of like a raw. Ooh. I was saying raw back and raw F smash. You saw him try to actually go for it, but you no, know, Cole's gonna slide right past that with that that roll. Bro, he just built a whole steeple above his head. Oh yeah. Oh, grabs the wrong way actually. Oh, okay. I mean, it's, I'm gonna use these blocks to my advantage now. Yep. So fans combos, baby, off the wall. Off the wall. Ooh. Uh oh. All right, cleaning him up. Efficiency right now is the key for Akola. One game away from capturing this Let's Make Moves Miami Championship. Oh, no. oh. Still with something to say about it. Has brought out the Joker. It's gone through so many resources, guys. The Robin, the Shulk, now the Joker. None of them seem, though, to have the impact he's certainly looking for. It was a 3-0 in the first set of, you know, obviously the first set of Grand Finals to Steve Ditto. It's not looking like it's going to be a different result thus far. Yeah, we've got yeah we've got several characters here in this grand finals for um, for owning, but none of them really actually helping him out to get this W. Oh, whiffing a grab. Okay, it's going to get punished. Owning the second chance here, 136% down. This is one of those characters that can really play the advantage state supremely well. Yep. Oh, until Steve just comes down with the minecart, one stock away. Uh, we're going to see the taunt. Onan maybe saying he's still got a little life in him. I definitely want to see him give this his all. Definitely. No reason to give up, man. Stay engaged. Stay encouraged. Anything can truly happen. But you know, if you're a betting man, obviously Vegas odds are telling you, Cola's got this one wrapped up. We shall see. Oh, so much work left Ooh. to do on Onan's part. No way that kills. Okay, yeah, he's still alive. And our sends in play. Oh. No, he's going to leave, oh, though. And that's going to be Ooh. it, man. Cola. Such a dominant performance that the man just left. He was like, I got to go. Akola going to be our Let's Make Move Miami champion, though. Got to give it up to him. Everybody clap it up. Yes, yeah, man. He, he popped off. He definitely popped off. No doubt about that. And, you know, no you know, sh no shade to, to own it at all. I mean, just kind of realize, hey, I feel like right now it's a losing battle. That's just something you got to go back to the lab for and, and prep. You know, you're going to have plenty more encounters against top players. And honestly, if you keep performing to the level that you do, you're going to see that young man in bracket again for sure. Uh, right now we're seeing I'll him on it. your screen yeah. as the Let's Make Moves Miami champion. Hold that trophy up. Hoist that bad boy up, boy. You earned it. You deserved it. Took a 3-0 loss to Mute Ace in winners. Avenged that in a crucial game number five. And then just stormed through the grand finals to take the crown. Man said, I will never lose again. And that's exactly what happened right there, man. Akola still holding this dominant reign over. Like, I mean, almost every tournament he's went to, yeah. except for obviously Ludwig's. But, yeah, he's been popping off. He, um, he the same weekend, I think T won. A lot of C, he won whatever tournament was going on in yeah, Japan. Yeah, Japan. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, like, he's definitely still dominant, man. You know, the guy, as they said earlier, has not placed outside of fourth. So, that's yeah. The game in a chokehold right now. I'm not crazy. mad at it, but that that's was a crazy. great grand final. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it really was, man. And definitely sad to see the wind leave Onan's sails after a certain point, but I do respect it. You got to take care of yourself. If you don't want to try too hard, run yourself into a wall mentally. You know what? Just let him have it at some yeah. point. But still, making it that far in the dominant fashion that he did, very impressive. I think yeah, one yeah. thing I would have liked to see, if, if, if it had been, if their last encounter had been spaced a little bit more, because they had just played last week and Cola won convincingly there, if they had had maybe like a month between instead of just a week, I think it could have been a little different. But, you know, that loss may be still fresh in his mind. You know, that's almost a defeat in itself when you're going into. It's tough for sure, man, but kudos to both. Played like, uh, played like superstars throughout the whole tournament. You know, but in that case right there, Cola just, you know, his star burning a little bit brighter. Yeah, man. Well, looks like we're actually in 20 MC right now, man. Minecraft is actually hitting right now. Jeez. I'm about a 20 MC at the end of this tournament, guys. So All I right. I think we're going to wrap this one up. TKE, thank you guys so much for yeah, joining Yeah, thanks me. for having us, man. Always a of pleasure course, to bro. bless the mic. It's always a pleasure to commentate these amazing matches for great crowds, uh, both in and out the Twitch chat and, of course, the sensational players, man. Yeah, man. Love uh, it. I mean, we actually got to go out to in-house for the first time in quite some time. So big cool. thanks for making that All happen. Right, no problem. But, yeah, man, we will be around for, you know, Several tournaments to definitely hang out with us. Make sure you follow all the stuff down here that you, that you can, and we'll catch you next time. All right, guys, we're going to throw it over to the stage. I'll be closing out the show. Thank you so much for watching or coming out here in person. And, uh, yeah, we're going to give these players some medals to nice. go along with Oculus Trophy. And, yeah, we'll see you in a few. But also, if you're going to leave the stream now, we'll see you next time. Testing. All right, everybody, give it up one more time for your grand champion.
Akala. Man came all the way from Japan to do his thing, and he took it in extremely dominant fashion. Very impressive. All right, guys. Well, we're going to hand the players their medals and all that off stream, actually. But just wanted to give you guys a word from us here at EMG. This is our first venture down to Miami. We super appreciate everybody coming through, showing a lot of love. And by the way, I know a lot of you guys probably know my face from commentating these events, but I gotta give a huge shout out to two very special gentlemen. This is Toronto Joe, the man behind the scenes, the owner of EMG, the grand creator of it all. Joe, you're the GOAT, bro. What do you wanna say to the fans? I mean, I don't know. The older I get, the more I appreciate how cool it is that people will spend, you know, three, four days just to come out and support our shit so the fact that you guys fuck with it we'll be back next year thank you for coming out um shout out to Akola, man took a 20-hour flight to come here with watch amazing the fact that our scene is so international you know a canadian to american to european to smash is beautiful man i'm so happy that you guys came out and appreciate it a lot yeah, I think Joe's one of the most unsung heroes in the whole Smash community. He's barely front-facing these days, but he was one of the best players in the world back in Brawl and PM, and he's still my personal GOAT, so please give it up for Joe. And then we got a slightly more familiar face over here, the guy who's been running operations and logistics all weekend, and for the last few of our tournaments, too, handling Gommel, handling Let's Make Big Moves. Kagged, you are one of the biggest rising stars in this community. You put your heart and soul into everything you do. You're constantly hard working. Bro, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you and also for you to talk back to the fans real quick and tell them what you got to say. I mean, thank you. I mean, thank you, Max, for everything you just said. I appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, I mean, it's I've been in the community for about like seven years now and it's kind of crazy to me. Looking back, oh, I just was a, a, a player just like you guys and I eventually went deep into events and, you know, TOing and everything. And it's kind of a dream come true to be able to like run all these events, you know, whether it's like EMG events or whatnot. So I just want to say thank you. I don't know where my life is going to be in a year from now, two years, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do. My life changes a lot, but I'm very glad with the one I have now, and I hope it keeps on going. So thank you, guys. All right, guys, with that, we're going to close out the show. Obviously, we got Let's Make Big Moves in New York this January. I hope to see you all there. We came to you. You got to come to us. But... In case you don't have money like that or you can't travel for whatever reason, we will be back in Miami next year, same weekend. Mark your calendars, start saving that money. Thank you all and good night.